Hello everyone, this is iLad and today I'm going to show you how to make an automatic sugarcane harvester. It can also be used to harvest melons and pumpkins. It all starts with a single block right in the middle of where you intend your field to be. Into that block you want to point a repeater, put two repeaters next to it. The one pointing into the block should be on three ticks. Connect them all with redstone, do a little fast pulser behind that. It involves a comparator and subtract mode. Go ahead and switch that on. You can see that each repeater is pulsing at a different rate. From the repeater on the right, make a line of redstone going out 14 blocks. Put a repeater on the end of that pointing toward the field. From the repeater on the left, make another line but this time you're going to go out 15 blocks and put a repeater on the end of that. In front of the repeaters along the side of the field you need a line of blocks that are piston proof. I prefer jack-o-lanterns because it lights the work area up. And in total this line is going to be 58 blocks long. Okay. On top of that, you need a line of redstone going all the way from end to end. Good. Now we need two sticky pistons. Yeah, Shut up. Put them a block apart. <laughs> Might want to switch the clock off first. And in between them, put a row of slime blocks extending out across the growing area. Go ahead and reconnect this. Oh. And the whole harvester moves under its own power down to the end. It reverses when it reaches the end of the redstone line. Took me a long time to figure out how to make this. But it all comes down to the timings on those three repeaters that are side by side. The middle one needs to be on three ticks and the two outer ones need to be one tick each gets down to the end, reverses direction. All right. There are some visual glitches with that. You saw how that briefly disappeared. It can also cause lag, but it's nice to have this little on-off switch. Uh, sometimes if you switch it back on, you notice it didn't get all the way down. It immediately reversed. Uh, if you put this on a timer so it's only running part of the time, you want to be careful and give it plenty of time to get from end to end. This can also be used to harvest melons and pumpkins. So we've got a field going here. Just for aesthetic reasons, I like to harvest the pumpkins and melons with iron bars. Iron bar down on the growing surface. Slime blocks coming out far enough to catch the uh, the harvesting bar as it goes past. And as it swoops by, it will just pick it up and start carrying it along with it. Be warned though, the longer you make the harvesting bar, the more laggy this is going to be. It'll drop your frame rate considerably. There we go. Thanks for watching.